credit Robert DeMartin. He is known for barnstorming stadium gigs, backed by his large ensemble band, powering through hit after hit about the plight of America's working class love, hope and political protest. In Bruce Springsteen's debut Broadway show, however, in the tiny wall to Kerr Theatre capacity 975, he rips up that formula entirely. Tori Amos remains timeless, 25 years on, Royal Albert Hall, review everything is stripped away it's just Springsteen, a microphone, guitar, piano and mouth organ. The master storyteller delivers a meticulous, astonishing performance featuring monologues and poetry about his childhood, his father's battle with drink and depression, his mother's dignity, the impact of the Vietnam War, America's racial divisions and fresh, innovative interpretations of some of his best-loved songs. The space is so small, and Springsteen's personality so absorbing, that at times it feels like a private, living room concert. Most people seem to be able to find empathy in Springsteen's writing and every man appeal, and that personal connection is magnified in this show, which broadly follows the themes of his 2016 autobiography, Born to Run. He came up with the idea after being asked by Barack Obama to put on an acoustic concert at the White House as the outgoing president's farewell gift to staff in January. This Broadway version, which has already shattered box office records, having netted more than $2.3 million for its first five shows, features a set list of 15 indelible songs. At least half the show is Springsteen talking, and, while some of the interludes are more effective than others, the format works a treat. Springsteen's voice, which remains powerful, is toned down from his usual performances, there's no need to strain in this small venue. Rather, the songs are often smartly reimagined and guitar solos more sedate, notably born in the USA. Framed by the moody set, Springsteen continues to defy his age and looks effortlessly cool and trim in familiar grey t-shirt and black jeans. The musician is joined at times by his wife Patty Sial for credit Robert DeMartin. He shows off his comic timing, joking that he has crafted a wildly successful career by writing songs about working-class oppression yet has never done an honest day's work in his life. He also explores the love-hate relationship we have with our hometowns, noting that while several of his hits are about breaking free and running to a better place, he now lives ten minutes from where he grew up. At two hours long, the show is far shorter than his freewheeling stadium gigs. He sticks to his script and even uses a teleprompter, but even so, it doesn't come across as rehearsed. The 68-year-old directs himself, but called on Broadway stalwarts for the excellent, minimalist set design, lighting and sound setup. Another major difference between this show and the stadium Springsteen is the absolute silence in the theater. At one point, the audience started clapping in time to dancing in the dark, he broke off and admonished he'll handle it myself. He performs the last part of Long Walk Home with no microphone or guitar amplification, prompting a standing ovation. Springsteen's wife Patty Sialfa joins him on stage for Tougher Than The Rest and Brilliant Disguise, offering welcome support for what is sure to be an exacting four-month, 79 performance run. Despite having vowed there would be nothing Trump-centric about the show, Springsteen is and has always been so overtly political that it would have been strange had he not referenced America's political divisions. While he said he now struggled to recognize some of his own countrymen, he offered hope that the current discord was merely a bad chapter. When things seem at their darkest, he said, lace up your dancing shoes. In Springsteen's final monologue, he explains how his life's mission, his magic trick, was tell the story of America through his music. I hope I've been a good traveling companion, he says. Here's hoping the journey is far from over. Until February 3, 2018. Tickets 018772502929 Bruce Springsteen.net Broadway. Yeah.